Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to clean this coffee maker. This is a Cuisinart 14 cup model number DCC3200. This is their pretty standard coffee maker that they're still making. Again, it's the 14 cup version. So if your clean light is on or flashing at you, that's letting you know that your heating element in the back of the coffee maker has got some buildup on it and we need to, to uh, remove that buildup. Now the way you remove that buildup is with white vinegar. But before we get started with that, I'm going to show you this Clearly Coffee. You don't run this through the coffee maker. This is for cleaning coffee stains. So you know how inside your coffee pot or maybe even on the plastic, the coffee will get brown and it kind of stains the plastic or the, or the glass and you wash it with um, soap and water and it doesn't come off? That's what this blue liquid's for. It's a concentrated liquid. It's $5 off of Amazon. And you leave it concentrated. You just put a little bit on. You brush it on. Let it soak. And that that um, brown coffee stain will come right off. It just does a really, really good job. Check out my other video. I have a video just on how to use this Clearly Coffee. But again, you don't run this through. This is just... And you can use it to clean the filter basket. can get uh, brown coffee stains in it. The brew head. So... Once you're done using that chemical, you're going to want to wash it with soap and water really well. So you're going to need some white distilled vinegar. You can get this at Walmart. This is 64 fluid ounces for a buck fifty. Now the first thing we're going to do is Cuisinart's have carbon filters. They're located back there where your water is, where you dump the water. You just pull it out. We're just going to set this off to the side. It'd be a good time to change your water, your carbon filter. There you go. But we don't want to run the vinegar through that carbon filter. So the manual says you're going to use one-third of vinegar, two-thirds water. Okay, so if you do the quick math, I kind of round up to make it easy. But we're going to dump vinegar up to the five-cup mark. After, Then we're going to fill the rest of it up with water, all the way to here with water. So let's put five cups of vinegar in. That's going to be the one-third um, vinegar. Okay. Now I'm going to take this over to the faucet and fill the rest of it up with water. Okay, so here I've got my vinegar and water. I'm just going to pour this in the back where the water goes. Then we're going to put the coffee maker down. They say you can put a paper filter in here. You don't really need to. You may get some uh, white calcium deposits coming out of your brew head because what's going to happen is there's a heating element down in here. That vinegar is going to coat inside the heating element and you may get some stuff may break loose. So you may see some um, white deposits in there or in your coffee maker. So we're going to close the lid. Okay, now to start the cleaning process. This has a built-in cleaning process that it can do. It's a timing. So we're going to press and hold this clean button until a little orange light, so that's a red light, is flashing. That's all we have to do. Now what's going to happen is, see the water and vinegar are in here? It's going to run it through the machine, but it's going to start and stop it. And that's going to give that heating element time to soak. So it's going to brew for a little bit, then stop. So your machine's not broke, it just it's a timing. It's going to brew for a little bit, stop. I think this takes about a half hour, but we're going to time it and see how long it takes. Okay, so see my red light is still flashing, but it's not doing anything. So it's letting it soak. And then it's going to start, you'll see water start, or that water and vinegar start brewing through there again. Okay, so it took about 35 minutes. The clean light stops flashing, and it's done brewing all the water and vinegar. Now I'm going to go dump this out and fill this up. I'm going to wash this out with soap and water and fill this up with uh, just plain water. Okay, so I cleaned this out. I got this filled up with just plain water. We've got to run water through this machine to kind of rinse out that vinegar. And the way we're going to do that is I've rinsed this out with soap and water. We're going to dump fresh water back here. 14 cups, according to the coffee pot. Okay. We're still going to leave this uh, empty, no coffee, no filter, nothing. Close it, and we're just going to do a normal brew now. That's going to come on. This is going to take about uh, 15 minutes. 
I'm going to run two of these pots through here of fresh water. I'll dump this out, fill it up, fill that up again, and do another brew. That should get all of the vinegar taste out. If your clean light is still on, you may have to do the whole process over again with more vinegar. So if you have any questions, leave comments down below. I check my comments daily, and I'll try to answer any questions I can on this coffee maker or how to clean it. But my videos are to help people. I hope this video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.